It's been nearly 10 days since Albertans last heard from Premier Jason Kenney. During that time, Alberta has reversed course on its COVID plan and case numbers have risen dramatically, with hospitalizations continuing to creep upwards. And some are criticizing Kenney, along with his cabinet ministers, for keeping a low profile. Tyson Fedor reports. The sweet taste of a cold pint. This was Jason Kenney's last public appearance in Edmonton on August 9th. We have seen over and over again uh, that this premier and, and his senior cabinet um, have enjoyed going into hiding when times get tough. Now CTV News has learned the premier has taken two weeks of holidays. It's a bad time for our political class to take vacations. A bad time because since the premier was last seen in public, active cases, hospitalizations and ICU admissions have spiked. A 73% increase in active cases, a 35% upward trend in hospitalizations and ICU visits, now up 66%. The Premier's office says in a statement that Kenny is on two weeks vacation and that he is still able to communicate with Cabinet and be briefed despite being on holidays. The Premier says Albertans should expect rising daily case counts and that his government has handled the pandemic well. I think we've done a good job. We have to continue to take COVID seriously, uh, but as Dr. Hinshaw often says, we should uh, respect it, not fear it. And Kenny is not the only Premier facing backlash. BC's John Horgan is also on vacation despite raging wildfires tearing through his province. He's not been seen in a month. One Alberta physician says the province should look at bringing back masking. I think that having the economy open is, is great, but there are ways to um, still keep people safe while having the economy open. Brownsey believes the Premier should expect even more backlash upon return with federal opponents in the middle of an election campaign taking swipes at his pandemic response. They'll use instances like this where he is nowhere to be seen as simply a reflection of how conservatives deal with such serious issues. Tyson Fedor, CTV News, Calgary.